What's up, everybody? Glad y'all could join me. Make sure y'all stay with this entire video. It's going to be a hot one. Oh, yeah. We're going to break it down on this one. So get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. But if you fast, then that's even better. Fasten them seat belts. Let's get with it. Uh, I'm going to play this real quick cue for you. I got it queued up. Uh, this is uh, GMS Elders. The GMS Elders. Uh, I, pay attention to what they say here. I got this off the Mighty Great Lions video. Uh, shout out, Mighty Great Lion. Excellent videos you're putting up, brother. Keep them coming. And uh, he uh, he recorded this off one of the GMS Elders video. Uh, so I got it right here. Let's get it going. Let me hit play here. Did y'all, let me just pause it right there. Did y'all hear what he just said? He said, type in, go, go to Google. He said, type in uh, uh, the name, Jesus Christ, see what image come up. And then he says, type in Yahawashai and see what image comes up. But guess what? Both images are wrong. You're not supposed to have an image of God. Is that correct? Is that not what uh, the Bible's telling us over and over and over again? We're not supposed to have no uh, graven image of God? Now let's hear him say that again. Let's, I want you to, uh, really want you to hear this. One more time. Right there. He said, Yahweh has an image too. Okay. From his own mouth. From y'all elders' own mouth. <laughs> He's, you know, he said, just type it in. And I, I did that. I went to Google and I did that. So, both images are an abomination. Both images are both incorrect. Okay. I want y'all to know that. So that image condemns you guys according to the scriptures. I know a lot of y'all going to bail out already because you love death. The Bible said all that hate me love death. So I know a lot of you GMS dudes done already bailed out. Because y'all want to die anyway. Y'all hate uh, the God of the King James Bible. That's one God. Y'all doctrine don't line up with the King James Bible. I've been proving that over and over again. So has the mighty great line. Okay, y'all doctrine does not line up with the King James Bible. Okay, and so uh, you had to be uh, the Three Stooges crew. That's who they elders are. The Three Stooges, man. The Three Stooges. That's a Three Stooges doctrine. You know. And we have proven that over and over and over again. So, uh, the way you worship God. Let's get that John. Okay. Uh, let's go to John 4.22. Uh, we're going to break it down in this video. If you have a heart for truth, you'll bear witness. You'll stay with this video. And you'll uh, put your faith... And the words of God, not not in a uh, man-made image of God. And I'm going to show you in Scripture where we are commanded not to make no image. No image. So the image itself condemns them. The image itself shows that they are Gentiles. Okay? John 4, 22, it says, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews, but the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers, he kept saying, pay attention to detail. The detail is in God's word. The detail is in God's word. 
when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him in spirit. We believe in the image of God in spirit and in truth. Right? In spirit. Where well, you cannot go to Google and pull that up. You can't. Well, uh -uh. We have the Holy Ghost from on high. The Holy Ghost from the kingdom of God reveals our Father to us. You cannot go to Google and pull up the faith of Jesus Christ. All right? You can't do it, Luke. Uh, what we want? 10, 22. It's been such a long time since I went here. But let me see if that's it. That's it. Luke 10, 22. Words in red. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is. Pay attention to detail. This is the detail, the voice. No man know who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son. And to whom the Son will, look, reveal Him. It says the Son will reveal Him. But then in uh, Matthew, watch this. Let's go to Matthew 16. Matthew 16 and 16. And it says, uh, Matthew 16, 16, And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood, look, flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And now this one saying the Father will reveal the Father reveals. We just read in Luke 6. What was that? Luke 10. My fault. Luke 10, 22. It said the Son will reveal him. And right here it says the Father in heaven will reveal. But my Father which is in heaven, he did the revealing. So this is uh, what we say. Our Bible gives a oneness. The Father and Son are one. John 10, 30. John 10, 30. My Father and I are one. You see, their Bible don't, they, they have two different entities. The mighty great line always points at that. They have two, that's the same as Jehovah Witnesses. You see, all these false gospels, false doctrines, don't line up with our King James, that Jesus and the Father are one. That Jesus is the Father, the Father is the Son. That's the way of the Holy Spirit. Gives you one God. Let's finish this out. And I also will give unto thee, say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The rock is the truth. The true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. That's the rock, the truth. We'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Can't prevail against the truth. Right? And I will give thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Why? Because it is written. That's what that means. It is written. It is written. It is written. Because it is written. What they say is not written. Okay, their doctrine is not the King James Biblical Doctrine of the Holy Ghost. There ain't no two separate entities. You might well be a Jehovah Witness, you believe that. You might well be a, a Roman Catholic. They believe in uh, three different gods. They say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. That's Roman Catholic. You understand? Alright. So, uh, the, the rock is the truth. To, Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church, the truth, and the gates of hell should not prevail again. Why? Because we will say it is written, the same as Jesus Christ. Matthew 4, 4, Matthew 4, 4, 
Uh, but he answered, said, words in red. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's the detail we're supposed to pay attention to. This is the detail. He titled his video, Pay Attention to Detail, whatever. But here the detail is in our King James. But he answered and said, it is written. Right there. Checkmate is right there. Checkmate is right here. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. That's our, that's our checkmate. Right there. Our checkmate on you devils, false teachers and preachers. Come on now. Romans 3 gives up, tells us we have the advantage. Because we say it is written. What? What advantage then had the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly, we the chiefs. Because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. That's it, right here. The scriptures. The holy scriptures. That's the oracles. The holy oracles of God. The holy scriptures of God. For what if some did not believe all these camps, all you Hebrew Israelite camps and Christians, because you both got that image. You both following that image that he spoke of, and both images are incorrect. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith? Look, that's the answer right here, the faith. So your unbelief don't make the faith of God without effect? Huh? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Y'all ain't stopping nothing. We got the faith of God, which is Jesus Christ, uh, his spirit, that's the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of testimony. That's what check makes y'all. It is written, it is written, it is written. The faith of God without effect, God forbid. Yea, let God be true. Hey, let the scriptures be true. The oracles of God be true. The son of God is true. But every man a liar. Here it is. Boom. Y'all liars. As it, there it is. As it is written. We're going to keep coming back to that. As it is written, doubt that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. The words that come out of our mouth. And mightest overcome when thou art judged because it is written. We point to what's written. That's our faith, the scriptures. The scriptures is our faith. The scriptures is our image. The word of God is our image. King James 66 red letters. Huh? You can't go to Google and type in and pull up our God. Our God is the invisible God. That dwell within. In the power of the Holy Ghost. Huh? All right. Y'all get that? Now let's go to uh let's go to Jeremiah 44. Let's do it. Oh, we're gonna get some good understanding today. Some good understanding. Their image is wrong, y'all. Their image is incorrect. Incorrect. In fact, let's go to Deut let's let's go down to Deuteronomy first. We're gonna Deuteronomy first. Deuteronomy for let's pay, he's kept talking about pay attention to let's see what God said. Deuteronomy four fourteen. Let's let's start there. Let's see what God said. God said pay attention to detail too. His detail is what? Obey my voice. Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word. That's what it, that's the detail you pay attention to. That's the detail you pay attention to. His voice. Deuteronomy 4.14. 
And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach the statutes and judge. This is Moses. This is Moses because he kept quoting Moses. That ye might do them in the land where thou goest to possess it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that land is the Holy Spirit. Which you can't get but by faith in Jesus Christ. John 7, 37-39 uh, tells us that. You got to believe on him as the scripture has said. Scripture said he was born of a virgin. Right? Scripture said he came down from above. Was that John 3, 13? As Moses lifted up the serpent, so must the Son of Man be exalted. Take ye, uh, therefore, good heed. Take heed. Right? Pay attention to detail, right? Take heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner, look, no manner of similitude on the day. Ye see no image, right? On the day that the Lord spake unto you in horde, out of the midst of the fire. Least you corrupt, look. Least you corrupt, y'all corrupted. With that very image you pull up on Google. That's, that's what y'all follow. Y'all leader said it. Y'all elder said it. I can play it again. Y'all elder said it. At least you corrupt your... So y'all are corrupted. You remember when Aaron made that golden calf? When Moses went to get the commandments? They corrupted themselves then in Exodus. They were found naked. They were naked. Y'all naked. Even because of that image. That you have a shy image. Y'all have corrupted. At least you corrupt yourselves and make you look a graven image. The similitude of any figure. Look, the likeness of male or female. The white Jesus is wrong too. The likeness of any beast, and that's without the man or woman, without wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's a beast. Y'all, you have a shot. That image is a beast. That's a beast. Romans 1, check, makes you too. That is on earth. Yep, yeah, that's what y'all done. You made an earthly image of God. You made an earthly, beastly image of God. 666. The flesh. You made a flesh image of God. The likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air. The likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground. That's what it is. Right? The likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. Least, check this out. And least thou lift up thy eyes to heaven. That's what y'all do. And when thou seest the sun. Don't y'all. Them holy days and all that. Y'all call yourself worshiping. Pass over all that stuff. Seest the sun and the moon. And it start. Muslims do this too. You see those symbols on their on they hats. On their garments. The Muslims. Because they also in unbelief. And they have their own Bible too. Y'all have the Apocrypha. They got the Quran. Jehovah Witnesses got their little book. You know. Mormons got their little book. All y'all come with a false book. And a false doctrine. Right? Because y'all y'all doctrine don't line up with our book. So y'all got to have y'all own book on the side. Y'all the same as them corrupt police officers. Right? They, they used to carry them up. Uh, what they call them, them uh, dummy guns? They them guns when they shoot Jake, they plant the gun, a, a gun plant on Jake. Oh, he had a gun. Y'all just like them corrupt beast police officers. Kill Jake and then plant a a gun on Jake. Huh? That's what y'all are. <laughs> and least thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun the moon, the stars, even all the hosts of heaven should be driven to worship them. Y'all do that too. That's why I'm going in Jeremiah in a little bit. 
and serve them which the Lord thy God had divided unto the nations under the whole heaven. But check this out. But the Lord had taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace. This is by spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection. Because you pointed to the grave. You appointed to death, the grave, to hell. Right? The wrath of God. You appointed to that. And it ain't no reincarnation. Hebrews 9, 27 tells us this is appointed under man once to die. After this is the judgment. Right? And the Lord tasted death for you and me. So we ain't got to go through the wrath. We ain't got to go to the lake of fire. We can come up out of hell. If you follow the voice image of God, the voice image of God, which is the scriptures made flesh. That's the faith of God. His scriptures is the faith. This is the gift of God. Romans 6, 23. In the name of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, not the Caucasian image, right? But the Lord had taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, bondage, captivity, sin, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day, we inherit the faith. We know he's a black man, but we believe it by faith. By faith. We ain't going to make no image that's going to knock us out the scriptures. That's going to knock us out. We can't add nor take away. That's going to bring the curses on us. That's going to bring condemnation upon us. That's going to corrupt us. We already read that. We let the Lord build us up, man. Ezra, let's go. Let's go some places. Let's go on a little trip. Let's go on a little ride. Right? Ezra chapter 1, verse 2. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord God of heaven, hath given me all kingdoms of the earth, and had charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. That's the tribe Jesus Christ came out of, Hebrews 7, 14. So Jerusalem is in Judah, which is in Christ Jesus. Let's keep going. Who is there among you of all his people? His God be with him and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, which is in Christ Jesus. We read that. John 4, 22 to 24, in spirit and in truth, that's Jesus Christ, that's the Holy Ghost. That's 1 Corinthians 12, 3. 1 Corinthians 12, 3. And Judah, and built the house of the Lord God of Israel. He is God, which is in Jerusalem, which is in Judah, which is in Christ Jesus, which is in spirit and in truth. Uh, pay attention to detail of his voice, the holy voice of God. As holy men of old spake, as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. You got to be born of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church, the Holy Ghost, true, which the Father reveals, which is the Son of God. Luke 10, 22. Uh, John 10 and 30, my father and I are one. One, Holy Ghost, King James Bible, 66 book red letter, makes us all one. John chapter 17, verse 17, through the, all the way down to the last verse. Jesus said he prayed that we be one as he and the Father are one, that we be made perfect in one. All these duality gospels, the Christian church is duality. The Hebrew Israelites and the Mosaic law, duality. All religions of the earth leave you in duality. Only the Holy Scriptures, King James 66 books, makes us perfect in one. One body, one spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, 13, we're baptized into one body, one spirit. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is salvation. Where we at? Ezra 4. And whosoever remain in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his, his place help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts beside the free will offerings for the house of God that is in Jerusalem, which is in Judah, which is in Christ Jesus, New Testament. See, see y'all don't believe in the New Testament. Y'all don't fool me. What it is, y'all don't believe at all in the New Testament. That's what Jesus said. If you believe Moses' writings, he said you would believe me. He's the New Testament. His blood is the New Testament. We find that in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 6, on down to 18. The veil is still on y'all hearts because y'all don't believe in Jesus Christ. Your heart won't turn to the words of God. You won't humble yourself to the name Jesus Christ that's exalted. Philippians 2, verse 9 through 11. You won't humble yourself to his name. John chapter 20, verse 31. That you might receive life. Let's finish this here. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites and all them who check this out spirit whose spirit worship the Father in spirit and in truth whose spirit God had raised he got to raise your spirit up whose spirit God had raised to go up and build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem which is in Judah which is in Christ Jesus, he's got to raise your spirit. He got to raise your spirit up. Philippians 3. Let's get it. Verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Everything of the flesh. Everything in the flesh. Right? Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency, look, of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, my Savior, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung. B.S. Everything else is B.S. That I may win Christ, the true image of God. The true image of God. The word of God. This is the body of the scriptures. Christ Jesus. The scriptures made flesh. And be found in him. Not having my own righteousness. Which is of the flesh. Which is of the law. Which is of the flesh. The law of sin and death. That's what our own righteousness is. Mosaic law shows us that. Romans 3.19 But that which is through the faith of Christ, here it is, the gift of God, right here. Through the faith of Christ, this is the strengthening. The righteousness which is of God by faith, that's the gift. That I might know him, look, and the power of his resurrection, you got to raise up your spirit. And the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. You got to get that power. You got to raise your spirit. Ephesians 3. Let's get it. Ephesians 3. 14. Come on. Uh, yeah, we can go there. Just 3. 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right? And that's him raising your spirit. He raised your spirit and show you plainly. John 16, 25. He said, I'm, I ain't going to speak to you in parables. When you see in double, that's parables. You ain't, your eye ain't single yet. Your eye ain't single yet. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. So we inherit his name. We inherit the father's name of Jesus Christ that's exalted. Philippians 2, 
uh, 5 through 11. That he would, check it out, grant you according to the riches of his glory to look, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. He got to raise up. This is your Ezra 1, what we just read. And he built the kingdom of God in your heart, in your spirit. To riches of the, his glory to be striven with might by his spirit in the inner man. His spirit enter into your spirit and you become one spirit. That Christ may dwell in your hearts. Look, by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in God's love. Didn't Jesus tell you to love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul? Now you can't love two masters. Matthew 6, 24, you got to be coming to oneness. One. King James doctrine is oneness. That we what, may be able to comprehend, look, with all saints, one mind, one accord, what is the breath? The length, the depth, and the height. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all, look, the fullness of God, the Godhead, Jesus Christ. Colossians 2, 6 through 5, Jesus Christ is the Godhead. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we are able to ask or think. He's greater than us. I love finite minds. He's greater than Google. This is the Holy Spirit in us. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. First John 4, 4. Down unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power of the Holy Ghost that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church. Upon this rock I build my church. By revelation is the church. He got to reveal himself to us. The church, by, by Christ Jesus, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. It's world without end. Ephesians 1. What I just say? He's the church. I, I, I said he got to reveal himself. Didn't I say that? He got to reveal himself. Ephesians 1. What is it, 17? Let's get it. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, Father of glory. So Jesus Christ is the glory of God, the Father. That's who he ain't no two gods. It's just God show you his glory. His glory got to be revealed to us that he's the Godhead. This is the reward that you get to know who God is through his son. Through his son. His son got to be our eyes, though. His son got to be our ears. His son got to become our body, our sanctuary. His son got to become our will. His son got to become our obedience. His son got to become our faith. Galatians 2.20. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. But Christ liveth in me, and the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, the glory of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. God's glory is his son. And that's his glory we are exalting. His glory is in his name. We're going to get that too. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then we got the same name. The whole family in heaven and earth. We read that. The father of glory. That's what you inheriting. That's what we are inheriting. That's what we were falling short of. We didn't. We. That's what destroyed us right here, not having His glory. This is your Romans three right there. May give unto you the Spirit, there, that Spirit, the Spirit of faith, right here, the Spirit of salvation, right here, the Spirit of glory, right here, the Spirit of wisdom and revelation. And the knowledge of him count all things lost. But for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, didn't we read that in Philippians? That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. 
We read that in Philippians 3. Everything else is BS. Remember, everything else is dung. First, I think the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You got to be enlightened in your understanding. That ye might know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of his glory of the inheritance. And we read this in Deuteronomy 4. We are the people of inheritance as it is this day, Deuteronomy 4, 20. But obeying his voice and not making any image. Do not make any image of anything in heaven. Inheritance and the saints. The saints are the obedient ones. The saints are the chosen ones. The saints are the elect. The saints are the elect. Oh, man. This is fun. Let's go to Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah. So many places to go. Jeremiah, which one we want? Which one we want? 44. And we can actually start with verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, y'all Jews, especially if you have uh, been baptized in Jesus Christ's name and received the Holy Spirit of circumcision, that's what make you a Jew, Romans 2, 28, 29. The land of Egypt, which dwell that my go, uh, country of Prashos saying, verse 2, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, you have seen all evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, right? And upon all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day ye are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein because of their wickedness which they have committed to provoke me to anger and that they went to burn incense to serve other gods. That's what y'all doing. Y'all got them graven image gods. Huh? Those are other gods. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai are other gods. Right? To whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit, even the white Jesus, graven image, even white Jesus, howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. And he said in uh, Deuteronomy 16, 22, Don't make no image that he hate. He hate all images that are in heaven. Those graven images, he hate all that. All right, so you, y'all in error. And all the camps got that image. Great, uh, uh, them GMS elders is, is, I told you, they three stooges. Because they keep saying, I, U, I, C, exalt Jesus' name. They don't exalt Jesus Christ's name. Great Lion and King Superman exalt Jesus Christ's name. Right? I, U, I, C has the image of Yahweh Shai. They have the image. Why can't them goofy, I mean, because they three stooges. They three stooges. And they insist on saying, I, U, I, C, exalt Jesus Christ. See, they so afraid of the mighty great lion and the king who, man, they won't say our names. They so afraid of us. Right? And y'all send them this video. I hope they see it. Right? But they vampires. They scared of the light. Vampires are scared of the light. But they hearken not nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn incense unto their unto other gods. That's what they doing. Burning incense to other gods. You have what you have, Shai, is other gods. Right? Anybody ain't following Jesus Christ through faith, you're worshiping other gods. You're worshiping the devil. Right? Wherefore, my whether you call him any other name, you call him Yah, right? Ahia, all those are other gods. All those are other gods. G O C C is in error too. 
That's a all duality doctrines. You cannot be one but through Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Through the spirit of faith and grace and revelation. We read that. Ephesians 1. Wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. And they are wasted and desolate as at this day. Therefore now thus said the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel. Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls to cut off from you man and woman and child and suckling out of Judah and leave you none to remain. Y'all ain't in the kingdom of God. Y'all not in the city. And that you provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands. See that? The works of your hands. Them images. He said, go to Google. Type in your house, y'all. Y'all got an image, man. That condemns y'all. By itself. By itself, that image condemns you. Burning incense. These are your prayers. Unto other gods. You know, because y'all got strange fire. Your prayers are strange fire to God. Y'all got strange gods. In the land of Egypt, where you go, be gone to dwell. That's where y'all at in Egypt dwelling. That's the that's the outer court. Y'all in the outer court. That you might cut yourselves off from your inheritance. Y'all cut off. And that ye might be a curse. Y'all a curse and a reproach. You are a reproach. Among all the nations of the earth. They see your nakedness. They see your stupidity. Stupidity. That y'all Scottish children. Children of no faith. They see y'all nakedness. They see y'all rebellion. They see y'all hatred against your own people and against your own God. They see you as a dog chasing your own tail. Huh? Have you forgotten... The wickedness of your fathers, the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives. Y'all wives is wicked. Y'all wives is lesbians. Yeah, they lesbians. And your own wickedness and the wickedness of your wives. Look, Romans 1 tell you too. Because, because y'all didn't want to retain Jesus Christ in your midst. So you turn you over to vile affections. Y'all homo. Y'all know what y'all are. Y'all that alphabet group. Behind closed doors, y'all that alphabet group. Y'all doing all, y'all do it all. Y'all not refrain from nothing. Lasciviousness is what y'all worship. Y'all children of the devil, John 8, 44, and the lust of your father you will do. Your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, they are not humbled. I y'all won't humble y'all to that name, Jesus Christ. Even unto this day, neither had they feared nor walked in my law. Y'all talking about the law, keep the y'all ain't walking in the law. You gotta have the resurrection life through the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. You gotta be circumcised in your heart. And you got to love Jesus with all your heart, mind, body. So he told us that. And Mark, what is that? Twelve? Verse 29 through 31, he told us to love God with all your heart, man. That's Jesus. That's Jesus Christ. And from your elders own mouth, we just heard at the beginning of this video. Cue it back up to the beginning of the video. Huh? Because he following the image. The, the Caucasian Edomite image throwed him off. Right? Which is of this world. Right? The true words we don't follow no image. Except the image in the Holy Ghost. The image of the scriptures. Jesus Christ is the image of the scriptures. This is by faith. He's the image of the scriptures. Yeah, he's a, he became a black man, but he's the scriptures. That was like a pinata. That was to release the Holy Ghost to us. John 7, 38, 39. His flesh was a pinata, so to speak, to release the Holy Ghost. He had to become a sacrifice. Right? In my law, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before, <coughs> excuse me, 
and before your fathers. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you. He's against y'all. For evil. And cut off all Judah. That's why y'all in the flesh. He cut us off in the flesh. Right? You, he, he, he adopts us through Jesus Christ. He adopts us through Jesus Christ. The word of God made flesh. That we can worship him in spirit and in truth. That's what our scriptures is saying. But we become one man. We just read that Ephesians 3. Was that? Uh, uh, 14, 15. The whole family of heaven and earth is named Jesus Christ. In adoption. Alright. And I will take the remnant of Judah. That have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt. That's what y'all did. To sojourn there. That's where y'all dwelling. Y'all ain't in Zion. Y'all not in the scriptures. Y'all not in the faith of Jesus. The Holy One of Israel. Our King. Y'all won't let him in your heart. Because y'all keep y'all y'all went by that image. That y'all went by Esau's image. Talking about go to Google and Google it up. We because the true worshipers don't follow that image. We follow no image. We worship in spirit and in truth. We the real Jews. We circumcise in our heart. We Romans 2, 28, 29. We are John 4, 22 to 24. We worship in spirit and in truth. We are the saints. We are the elect. Right? We have not corrupted ourselves with any image made by man. And they shall be consumed and fall in the land of Eden. That's y'all. And they shall be consumed by, look, look what's coming. Sword and famine. And they shall die from the least even to the greatest. Y'all bishops. Y'all apostles. Right? From the least to the greatest. And by sword and by famine, they shall be execration. And astonishment and a curse and a reproach. Y'all all of that. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt. Y'all outside. Y'all out of court. That's out of court. As I have punished Jerusalem by the sword and by famine and by pestilence. Right? So that none of the remnant of Judah which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain that they should return unto the land of Judah to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there for none shall return but such as shall escape. Jesus Christ is our escape. That death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ is, is the portal. That's the only way of escape. Romans chapter 6 tells us that. Romans chapter 7 tells us that. Romans chapter 8 tells us that. Right? Galatians 2.20 tells us that. Right? And many other places. Then shall the men which knew that their wives, check this out, had burned incense unto other gods. Y'all taught y'all wives. And all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwell in the land of Egypt, and Patros answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word, that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth. Y'all rebellious, independent. This is y'all duality here. To burn incense unto the queen of heaven. And, and that's a, a mystery Babylon, the great the mother of harlots and all abominations. Because deep down, y'all love the world. Y'all in y'all flesh and y'all love the world. So the queen of heaven, that's who y'all 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 worship. The world. Y'all still worldly. No matter how much y'all say y'all hate America, all that stuff, you holding on to your flesh like. That's what the queen of heaven would have you do. That's y'all mama. 
That's your mama. That first covenant, it tells us in Galatians 4, Abraham had two sons, one after the bond woman and one after the free woman. The free woman is, that's Zion birthing Jesus Christ. That's holy Zion, which is above. The, our mother, uh, uh, Galatian above, is the, the mother of us all, of Zion, those who were born of the water and the spirit. Y'all queen of heaven is the bond woman. Y'all are bond children, still captive to sin, still captive to Egypt. Still in debt. You have debt. You believe in debt and theft. You're guilty as the heathens, the Gentiles. Uh, you're still guilty. You're guilty of the bloodshed of the children. of. Didn't Jesus tell us that? In the Gospels, you're guilty of the blood of Abel. All the way to the blood of Zacharias. That blood is charged to you. You're still killing the children of God with your images, with your false doctrines, with your devilish tongues. Huh? You're still murderers. You're deceivers. You're liars. So this law is made for what? The sinners, the ungodly, the unholy. Right? That's what y'all under. From your own confession. The man just told us at the beginning of the video. Your elders are telling you. They hate God. From their own mouth. Right? And your wives hate God. And your children hate God. You are a nation fitted. For destruction. And when I say nation. I'm talking about you are, the, you are of the Gentiles. You John eight forty four. You God's. You are. Uh, yeah, that's what uh, Satan told Eve in the garden. You shall be gods. So you are gods of the knowledge of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You are those gods. That's why he's telling y'all to eat from that tree. Google is the tree of the knowledge of what good and evil. That's what Google is. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And he's living by that, and he's teaching that. That's doctrine. That's doctrine. But it ain't pure doctrine. Pure doctrine is the King James 66 book red letter. That's the pure doctrine. Titus 1, 15, 16. Proverbs 30, verse uh, 1 through 6. And the Lord is our pure Lord. But they won't say that. They can't say that Jesus Christ is Lord. 1 Corinthians 12, 3. And to pour out drink often. This is what they're doing. Unto her, y'all pour out. Eat. Don't they have those feasts? Ain't they pulling in a Passover? The GOCC just had they pass over. All the camps do pass over. That's they drink offerings. They pour out drink offerings and food offerings. To the queen of heaven. To the queen of heaven. They mama, the bond woman. The bond woman. Y'all the bond woman's children. We reading it right now. And to pour out drink all was under her, your feast, your Passover, all of that. Your new moons. God, I read the Lord already told you. He done away with all that. But y'all still do it. Y'all still do it. We have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Judah. For then we had plenty of victuals. And were well and saw no evil. You, yeah, yeah, that's what they saying in their heart. They ain't going to see no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings unto her. We have wanted all things. And have been uh, consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the queen of heaven. And poured out drink offerings unto her. Did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings under her without our men. So y'all women was doing this before y'all the, before they was married. They was still do, they was doing that. So they doing the same thing. So they really truly did meet their soulmates, which is uh uh 
The devil marries the devil. I say it that way. All right. Then Jeremiah said, "Under uh, they not unequally yoked." Let me say it that way. They are yoked together. They are not unequally yoked. All right. All right. This is unrighteousness marrying unrighteousness. Let me say it that way. Uh, they are Babylon men and women of Babylon. Right? Babylon kings and Babylon queens. We reading it right now. Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that we burn into the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers and your kings and your princes and the people of the land did not the Lord remember them and came it into his mind so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which you have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without inhabiting as it is this day. The Lord ain't inhabited y'all. He ain't in y'all. Jesus told us that in, in John. What? Four, five, six. Right? He ain't in y'all. Y'all don't have his word in y'all. Because you burn incense and because you have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed. Look, there it is. The voice of the Lord. Didn't he say, this is my beloved son. Hear you him. In Matthew 17, 5, Jesus Christ is the voice of God. Because ye have burned incense and because you have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord. You have not obeyed Jesus Christ. Matthew 17, 5. Nor walked in his law. The law of his mouth comes from the priest's mouth. Jesus Christ is a high priest. Matthew 4, 4. Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Nor his statutes, nor his testimonies. The testimony of Jesus Christ. That's our salvation. Revelation, what, 11? Excuse me. Revelation uh, 19, 11? Uh, uh, testimonies. Therefore, uh, this evil is happened unto you as it is this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto the people, this goes on and on, y'all. Let's go on and on. But for time's sake, I want to go somewhere else. But we could have kept back going. But I think y'all get the point. I just wanted to give you the point. Oh, let's go to this one, y'all. Psalm 115. Psalm 115. Watch this. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. There it is right there. His name got the glory. That's what we have fallen short of. Then it says that in Romans 3.23, all have fallen short of the glory of God. So he gave us his name. That's his glory. We can close the book right there. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. For thy look, mercy and true saying. His name is the mercy and the truth. Didn't it tell us to uh, uh, worship the Father, the true worship and worship Father in spirit and in truth? His name. Those that receive his name. That's written. His name is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. His name, Jesus Christ, it is written. It is written. It is written. And they cause his name to be blasphemed. That's written. That's uh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back some of Right there, I'm gonna come back. Just want to show you Romans two and uh, Romans two real quick. Just show you that uh, they blaspheme the name that is written. <clears throat> Romans two twenty four. For the name of God is blasphemed. The name of God is Jesus Christ. Is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, through you dudes, you Mosaic law dudes, do you dudes? And you Christians, and you Christians, y'all cause his name to be black because y'all didn't overcome the flesh. Y'all did not overcome the world. You just, y'all love them uh, uh, drink and food offerings to the queen of heaven. The bond woman, the flesh. She, she burst the children of the flesh, the bond woman, the children of the curse. For the name of God, Jesus Christ, is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, through you um, 